think is, so these are the good things. What do you think is holding back Turkey? What is missing from supercharging this region that Turkey should be like in Israel or Estonia or even a Berlin? Like what is missing? I start from the, I think the biggest uh, lack in Turkey is the money part. If you look at the internet, um, I would say we have three active uh, VC companies, right? Um, I guess the volume they have is between 60 and 100 million they could put into the internet. Yeah. So if a company becomes large, so in early stage there are some business angels, a few, and then the three, four companies. If a company uh, is getting larger in Turkey, it becomes very difficult to have a serious B. This is, so this is first of all a big opportunity for also the foreign VCs, really a big opportunity. But a country like Turkey needs to have a much stronger VC and investors uh, structure as we used to have. Because every company which is getting more than 20, 30 million Turkish liras of annual revenues will have problems in getting funding. So this is the on the investor side. On the entrepreneur side, I wish that Turkish entrepreneurs have a much more global vision. So I think we miss opportunities if we only focus on Turkey. Um, we can focus on to the region. We can also focus to, to Europe. Um, and if I look at the companies, internet companies from Turkey who has expanded, there are not that many examples. Yeah, maybe there are five or six, but it, it should be 50 or 60. This is the big potential. <clears throat> I, I think, think what uh, Sina mentions is kind of interlinked because yeah. I think, you know, uh, it, it's expensive to grow and uh, Turkish companies with, with the lack of capital, which I fully agree with, um, I think are usually, you know, by the time they get to a, a, a substantial size, size, they start to get prematurely conservative. Yeah. Instead of going shooting for the stars, they want to make sure that they don't screw up what they've created successfully because a lot of times the wealth of the founders is largely locked up in the equity of that uh, company that they've built. Yeah. Let me add something for the entrepreneur side. I mean, we are much earlier in this uh, food chain with angel investments. We are not facing, let's say, capital shortages, funding shortages. What we are facing is actually uh, entrepreneur shortages. And what I do not mean is necessarily only the ideas. I mean, people which are really thinking global, which are thinking outside of the borders of Turkey. There's a lot of, I mean, Turkey is a big domestic market, but normally if we invest as angels, we do this with looking for an exit. And if our exit are, normally it should be a VC fund, for example, if they look global, we have to look global, which means we cannot invest into purely domestic business. It's, it's, not, it's not big enough after a while to, to invest into that. So this global perspective and uh, the connections, the international connections is quite important. As I said, uh, the Burak is doing groundbreaking work. He, uh, work. he started already a lot of ETOM coffee meetings in Dublin and London, San Francisco and other areas. I mean, just get exposed to international, uh, let's say, players and get more to think more international. The entrepreneurs are great, but I mean, be brave enough to do it and to think global and then do it for a while. Just have an idea and, and go through it. We have some people around here, foreigners, uh, you will hear them in, when they are pitching, who are having some experiences how it is to be an entrepreneur as a foreigner in Turkey. There are quite tough experiences. There's a way to do it, but it's very difficult. Listen, listen to them in the, in the afternoon. I, I would also, another sort of outsider observation too, I think one of the challenges, I think a lot of ecosystems outside of like Silicon Valley, like even New York, I think one of the challenges is, so besides capital is a big, big constraint, I also think experience of actually scaling. So there are very few companies, for example, in Silicon Valley, where there's a lot of people scale the company from 10 million to 100 million, you know, 100 million dollars, or 50 to 150 to 1,000 to 3,000. There's actually a very big group of people who've actually done that. And I